Okay, what's up, y'all? This is Bobby Washington, uh, Bobby Washington Vlog. Please consider subscribing. Um, if you have not subscribed already, click my notification bell as well. Right now, I'm actually sitting in my car. Um, I got to do this video. I just actually just got through fixing this uh, computer. Um, you know, I actually, yesterday, I made a video where I actually upgraded um, 2012 and the two this 2011, where I went uh, from from eight gigabytes of RAM to 16, and I also put an SSD drive in both of these units. Now, the 2012 had no issue. I used this um, SATA adapter to go into the USB port here. I plugged in the new SSD 870 Evos, and um, it actually, you know, it took. The, the Sierra, High Sierra took on this one, which I log into now. High Sierra took on this one, and on my um, other one, I put Catalina. Cause that's a 2012 they can go that high now i ran into an issue on this one and i had i gotta make this video because a lot of people are probably having this issue but there's not one video on youtube that explains why when you put when you when you, after you have successful uh install of the operating system on on the usb side when you put it back into the machine it gives you a circle with a line in it a circle with a line in it or it may give you a question mark with a folder um there were so many people saying oh it could be this it could be that it could be you know you need to go ahead and reformat it blah blah, blah. but that was an issue um the issue was simple and plain when you have an older unit like a 2011 which is much um different than even a 2012 they're only one year apart but the unit parts inside are just older like the the cable is it's actually it was a cable ribbon the cable ribbon that, uh, that connects to the SATA inside this machine, they're not all created equal, right? The one I had was too old and it couldn't keep up with the 870. 870 is running SATA 3. So I think the one I had can run SATA 1 and SATA 2, but it couldn't handle that SATA 3, so it was not seeing it. I will put the old hard drive in and it, it will boot up. Like, like I'm like, man, well, so the ribbon must be working because at least it boots up with the old one. Why is it not working? So it was like, well, maybe, maybe you have a crack in it and maybe you just need to put the... the um, the other one up higher to make it bigger. No, that's a bunch of mumbo jumbo. The cable needed to go. And um, I basically I replaced it with a 2012 um, use uh, cable. I got one from a, a guy who has a, a, a part shop where I live of old Apple stuff. And I got an old cable. You guys can get one off of um, eBay. In fact, I'll try to maybe point, uh, uh, maybe a link if I can find one on Amazon, I'll put it in the description. But you got to replace that cable. If you have it where you, where you, install you know you install it perfectly you know the, the disk drive is good it's a brand new disk a, a sata disk and it, i mean a ssd and it works good then it got to be the cable especially if you put the old hard drive back in it and that still boots up so you know it ain't the machine you know it ain't uh, it, it ain't it ain't your hard drive it got to be that cable so just change that cable out the cable not even expensive man you can get paid for like 14 15 bucks for the cable and just uh take it off and put it in there all right but that i had to make this video because that's what it was. I, I, I did a replacement last night, 2012. She went to Catalina, no problem. 16 megabytes. I'm sorry, 16 gigabytes, no problem. This one went 16 gigabytes, no problem. Uh, installed. The problem came in when I tried to put the, the disk and the, the SSD back inside the back of this. That's when the problem came. But I fixed it. As you can see, now it's on. I'm going to go to the Apple here. You can see. You can see here that I got that um, high Sierra on here. And I got 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it's funny because Apple told me, you know, you couldn't even put eight, you couldn't even put 16, it wouldn't be red here. It's actually being red and it's running really fast. And the SSD, Apple would have charged an arm and a leg to put the SSD in there. So it took me like not even 10 minutes to put an SSD in there. So watch that video if you haven't seen it. I'll show you how to install it into um, MacBook Pros. Okay? Peace and blessings. Please subscribe and um, have a great day.